Welcome back to GTA Insights. Today I'm going to show you the most incredible and exclusive leaks that will probably be in the new GTA 6, especially about robberies, weapons, inventory and chases. Robberies. 1. You may break it into properties and vandalize them to carry out thefts. 2. You will be able to carry out some robberies and break-ins without any detection and will be rewarded for that. 3. It will be possible to steal from other NPCs. 4. You will have a small time counter during the robberies, which will also serve as the time until the police are dispatched to the location. 5. It will be possible to take hostages during robberies. 6. You will be able to loot anybody in the game, so if you find any NPC dead, you should loot their valuable objects. 7. Lucia can give orders to Jason even if you are not controlling him, unlike in GTA V, where we could not give any orders or have control over the actions of company characters. For example, during a robbery, we can give orders to Jason to surrender to the police. 8. There is a button that will allow the player to surrender to the police, even during a robbery. Weapons. 9. You can use up to four weapons, two firearms, a melee weapon, and a grenade. 10. You'll be able to pick up and drop weapons easily, which could be useful during a big shootout if you run out of ammo and need to ditch your pistol for a rifle 11. It will be possible to shoot with a gun underwater when going scuba diving. Inventory. 12. Jason and Lucia each have their own inventory, as well as a shared inventory. You can carry wine, soda, fruit, and other food items. 13. The inventory system looks similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. The player cannot carry an unlimited amount of weapons, instead they have two slots for small melee weapons, and two slots for rifles, shotguns, etc. 14. You will be able to carry a first aid kit with you to fill the life bar. These kits include pills and trauma kit which could allow you to heal during combat or perhaps gain temporary buffs. Chases. 15. If you are detected by the CCTV system of a location, there will be a notification bar showing that you are being seen. If you hide, this bar will decrease. However, if you continue to be seen, this bar will fill up and turn red, thus triggering the police or gang that is acting in that place. 16. The cover system is much smoother than previous Rockstar games and looks similar to The Last of Us, where you walk up to a wall or object to get into cover instead of pressing a button. 17. It will be possible to carry bodies away from the crime scene to avoid attracting the attention of the police, guards, or gangs during missions. 18. If you commit a crime and get into a vehicle, cops will recognize you anywhere on the map and be on the lookout for that vehicle, so avoid being seen changing. Vehicles during a chase. 19. The vehicles will have sub-menus, you just need to press the left D-pad and will have access to the vehicle controls menu. 20. Holding the left D-pad, you will have access to the vehicle quick menu. Maybe you will be able to access the car's glove compartment having control of the windows trunk and other features. 21. In GTA 6, the vehicles will be like the horses of Red Dead Redemption 2 in matters of various functionality, so the vehicles will no longer be just objects of locomotion and will have a deeper role of functionality never seen in the franchise until now. Random. 22. There will be sobriety tests in the game, though it's unknown if this is a random NPC event or if the player will actually get tested. 23. It will be possible to see Jason with gunshot scars from the unsuccessful gameplay. 24. What up? Is the social platform used in the world? Likely a spin on WhatsApp. 25. You can be banned from visiting any store in the game, and when this store is damaged, this will be notified at your entrance. 26. There will be wildlife in the game, including alligators, boar, raccoons, and black bears. 27. There will be a fishing store, meaning you might be able to go fishing for the first time in a GTA game. 28. There will be activities to look for missing people from posters scattered in stores. There are files in the dev menu called Missing Tourists with different locations, and one called Missing Tourists, Trophy Room. There will likely be a murder mystery in the game. All of this information is from the big GTA 6 leak in September of 2022. Perhaps many of these things will be changed in the final version. What do you guys think? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.